Well, welcome back to Notary Stars. My name is Beth Hathout, and this video is a special presentation for a rising star in our notary community. My guest today is Mr. Manuel Puga, and he's here to inspire you to step out of your comfort zone and become the best you can be. As the story unfolds, you might even see yourself as the main character. Hello, Manuel. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, Ms. Beth. Uh, my name is Honor Puga with My Home Notary Service, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to pin you. There we go, so we can see you, because I want your face the whole video. Okay. So, Manuel, you're currently a notary public and loan signing agent in which state? Uh, I'm on commission in California, the state of California. How long have you been a California notary? Uh, I've been a notary for uh, three years, um, since 2020. Perfect. Okay, so tell me what you were doing before you became... So before, I, yes, before becoming a police, uh, I'm sorry, before becoming a notary public, I was a police officer. Um, I was uh, six months in and the pandemic hit and I was let go due to insufficient funds okay. and um, so I had no job and my wife she was already a real estate agent um, so that's when the refis uh, were left and right and they needed notaries here in California and my wife's um, said uh, are you interested in becoming a notary I just didn't know what it was no idea what this job and, 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 and entail until I did my research and I'm like, okay I'll just give it a try so um I became a notary and I just jumped right into it um uh, taking a, a signings uh, left and right I had no idea um uh, what I was getting myself into. And the only, um, really, the only education I had was just the in and uh, just the basics. That that was it. Wow. Okay. So you had didn't really have any formal training except for n and and you just jumped in and, and started your business? And... I started my business, but um, after I did a couple of uh, signings, I just didn't come at all. So I'm like, okay, let me uh, search some uh, YouTube videos, see see what I find. So I came across Notary Stars, um, and um, <laughs> came across Notary Stars, and um, they came across like the um, uh, the correction agreement, uh, the compliance agreement, the settlement statement, um, the very short uh, videos, like a minute or sometimes like five minutes videos, but very informative. And I'm like, wow, this is great. So I would uh, study my, my YouTube videos before every signing. <laughs> and then I came to know that uh, that Notary Stars was a um, um, sort of like a notary community. Right. Uh, and uh, they, they train, they train on a daily basis. And uh, I did my research I, um, and I called Ronnie, uh, Ronnie, Got back to me within minutes, and said, yeah, I'll get you. Uh, get you. Um, I'll get you going. I became a member of Notary Stars, and so um, how, I didn't. You've been a notary three years. So how far into that three year stint did you um, start training with Notary Stars? So it was six months in. I was six a notary over six six months in when I uh, became a member. That long. And I became a member of Notary Stars, and I started uh, attending uh, the live Zoom meeting uh, classes, and um, it was very helpful. Awesome. Awesome. We can always give you the tools, right? But you got to know how to use them. You got to use them yourself. I can't use them for you. But, okay, so before Notary Stars, um, how are you marketing your notary business? How did you get business? That's a really good question. So it was just a word, word of mouth. It was just um, like my wife 
uh, tell any uh, other real estate agents, hey, my husband is a notary. Uh, if you want to you know, use him for your uh, closings, he's a notary. But uh, I didn't get anything, no, no jobs at all um, until I want the big prize from Notary Stars where um, you are a big prize winner. The big prize winner, uh, Ronnie built my uh, website and so my Google business profile. And it was like two months in, three months in, I started like getting calls from the general public. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is, uh, this is working. <laughs> this is working out. Now, now I have a website. Now I have a Google business uh, profile. This is really working. And um, it, it was just amazing uh, the fact that my phone was not ringing at all to like getting, starting getting phone calls. And um, as I was attending uh, Notary Starts, Ronnie keeps pushing us like, you got to go to title companies. You have to go. You have to You have to do it. So, um, you know, one time I, I just went in uh, I, and I did it with fear. I'm like, I'm just going to go in into, you know, this title of office and just go in. Okay. Uh, the worst. So you started with no marketing and then you won the prize at Notary Stars. You took the marketing class at Notary Stars as well, didn't you? Yes. Okay. And you won yes. the big prize and you got a website built in expertly SEO'd for you. And suddenly your phone started ringing. But in that marketing class, then Ronnie is hammering on all the students. You have to pull up your britches and just walk into a title office or a lender and get that business. You have to do that, right? Yes, that that's correct. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so who was your first direct client? Who did you um, decide that you're going to take a deep breath and just do it? The Nike. It was just. It do was. It. Uh, it, it, it was not a title company. Uh, my first direct client was actually a uh, um, a bank. It was a credit union bank. Uh -huh. um, I and I was there for an unrelated um, signing. Like I was not there to look for business, but rather I was helping a client who didn't uh, speak English and wanted me to translate for him. So um, I offer myself, like, I can go with you to the bank and translate for you. And it, it, it turns out that the, the, the branch manager was there. And I remember um, all the, the, the keywords that Ronnie uh, provided us. And I'm like, this is the time to, for me to start marketing and let them know what I do. Yeah. So while we're there, I'm like, um, Mrs. Uh, Laura. Uh, I'm a mobile notary public, and I would love to help you um, with your all your signs. And she's like, um, thank you so much, but I already have a notary. And I said, good for you. I'm so glad you have a notary, but can I still leave my information? And um, can you leave me at your second notary for, or for a rainy uh, day? And she's like, yes, absolutely. So... I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, she's not going to call me. Uh, six months later, uh, she called me. And she said, uh, we need your service. We're going to put you on, on our preferred list. You will be our main notary. And awesome. so far, so far, it has been my the I mean, number one um, uh, client. Okay. That so brings business. Let me read something that I read that you wrote. It said, I was terrified about marketing my business as a mobile notary until one day without even thinking about it, I walked into this credit union bank near me and did what I had in mind doing months ago, marketing. Yes, I did stutter and words just did not come out the way I wanted them. So it wasn't perfect. You were scared out of your mind. So she were terrified, right? Yes. Six months later, you're getting 
pretty regular business from this credit union? Yes. Uh, uh, not, and then now, not only I'm getting business from this uh, particular uh, credit union branch, but in my area, there are four. So now uh, I am getting uh, signings from all four. And that, that was just taking a deep breath, going in and, and doing it. And look what you yes. got. Four, four branches for that credit union six months later are all giving you business. That's a huge yes. feather in your cap. That's huge. But there's more, isn't there, Manuel? Who, how did, what did you do to successfully contact title agencies? Uh, so after uh, this client, uh, the credit union bank uh, is giving business, um, I, I, I found it, it became like a challenge to me. So, so now, it, you know, it just, I kind of like reset myself and, you know, having a mindset of a positive mindset, like I'm going to go in and I'm just going to uh, offer my service, you know, and, and it's just, I've been doing it uh, for eight months uh, where whatever I try, I take the opportunity to look for title companies and I just walk in and I walk in um, dressing like the way I'm dressing right now. I, I bring my, uh, my material, my, um, such as my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, gosh. Your brochures? No, I, uh, my resume. There you go. My, re my resume, business cards. Um, I even uh, have a, um, a template where I explain what is an organization and what is needed in our estate. Um, uh, some laws that I also ha I have included uh, with uh, giving like a package for them to review. And I walk in just asking for business. You just walk in? I just walk in. And does it terrify you anymore? Uh, not anymore. No, no, not anymore. No. You just walk in now and say, I am here and I am your man. Huh? Yes, that's correct. So all said and done, three years later, you've got uh, the credit union and three other branches or four other branches at that credit union um, as a direct client for you. Yes. And how many title agencies do you have giving you direct business? Uh, three. So far, three. So you've got seven? Or a direct business? Uh, uh, seven, seven so far. My gosh, that's huge. So three years ago, you became a notary. The first six months, you thought you were going to drown, I'll bet, right? And yes. then you got uh, started getting your website um, contacts and set. you got your website set up and SEO'd and your Google My Business uh, page and all of that rock. And then you started to hear your phone start ringing. And then one day when you were in a credit union, you just kind of fell into this, I'm going to tell her I'm a notary and I can help her, right? Yes. <laughs> and from that moment, it's just been a flood. The yes. floodgates opened up and it's just carried you away. Now you've got seven direct clients. Are you staying busy, Manuel? Very, very busy. Yes. Uh, I've been doing, uh, for the last uh, month, I've been doing uh, uh, an average of three signings a day. Um, I've been really following what Ronnie teaches at Marketing um, Plus. Uh, not only how to see um, SEO or our website, but also um, how to collaborate with other notaries as well. And uh, that's what I've been doing, uh, collaboration. I usually shared my, have a notary who lives just right down the street from me and she is, uh, she's always showing up on, on the first page before me. But uh, what I started doing is I started sharing her post. Even though she's a notary, I still share her, whatever she posts, uh, I share and next 
Um, next thing I know, and now she's sending me, because uh, she's so busy, she's sending me jobs that jump for notary work. Send me all the clients that she cannot assist. She send me all, all of them. And I also uh, been. See um, how it works, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, UPS stores also. Uh, I have been um, uh, becoming like not only friends, but also like I've been collaborating as well with them. I've been leaving business cards. Um, sometimes customers they, uh, they they want to have a mobile notary rather than going into the store. So uh, I've been friends with with them and letting letting them know that I'm here for them. That's and, awesome. And That's totally awesome. That's such a great story. And it's so important to realize that you're not gonna get all of your business and you're not going to be able to sustain your business just off of signing services or snap docs or signing order. That those really direct relationships that you have with people at UPS, at the credit union, at the title companies, those are the things that are going to, and your co collaboration with the other local notary, all of those things that have <clears throat> kind of propelled you um, from idling into 60 mile an hour speeds is all because of those direct uh, human relationships, right? Yes, and one thing I, I really advise notaries um, that, um, I was there once, um, afraid to market my business, afraid to to tell people I am a notary. Uh, just um, just by thinking that they, they don't need my service, they already have a notary. They're never gonna use me. I had that mindset, but ever since I got my first client, six months later. So I always think it um, think of this as a um, when you plan a plant right like you water it uh you take care of it right like it all of a sudden it, it grows and start blooming and, and giving you uh beautiful roses yeah and that's how i think uh, that's how i think it when it comes to uh uh marketing your business um you know uh there, there is always always somebody that is needing a notary that is that needs a document to notarize and uh, what has worked for me is collaboration uh, with notaries around my area. Uh, really, that's that's uh, that's that's what has worked for me. Yep. You also wrote that I read. Everywhere I drive, I'm always looking for an opportunity to grow my business. Everywhere, right? Yes. I, I am always carrying my resume with business cards, uh, uh, pants, uh, anything that um, I go to apartments and they usually have inside their, the, like the laundry uh, space, they have like four um, boards yeah. where I can uh, pin my, my business cards. And I've been getting a lot of business like general notary work from uh, these places as well. That's awesome. So what's your best advice um, for either a new notary or a notary who maybe isn't so new, but their business isn't really thriving? What advice do you have if they say, I'm just not a salesperson, I'm just too shy, I'm just too afraid to have someone tell me no? Uh, my best advice uh, that I can give to, to them is just do it with fear. Um, you know, there's always a uh, first time just do it. It is very rewarding. Uh, once you start getting clients and, and getting to know in your community, you're going to want to do it more and more and more. And it's going to get to the point where it's going to uh, be addicted. I was going to say, <laughs> it could start to feel like a drug for you, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really such a great story, Manuel. And I am so um, pleased to be able to <clears throat> have this opportunity to record this session with you and just let other notaries know that your career starts at the end of fear. Do it scared, right? Yes. 
Perfect. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, Manuel. I appreciate you and congratulations. I think you are Thank a stellar rising star. Thank you for having me here. You bet.